ML Sports Take here, brought to you by Welch & Company Jewelers, Stumble & Monkey Brewing Company, and our great friends over at Bowers & Company CPAs. I cannot wait to see what Gabe Davis brings to the table in 2022 for the Buffalo Bills. In fact, in his rookie season of 2020, I had him as a breakout player without even taking a snap in the NFL. I thought he was that good coming out of college. The length, the hands, the size... Uh, the footwork, the route running, all of it uh, combined. And when you look at Gabe Davis now with that unbelievable uh, uh, rise-up performance at Kansas City where he, just like Josh Allen in the offense and everybody really besides the blundering coaching staff of Leslie Frazier and Sean McDermott, they all deserve to be in the AFC Championship game. And they should have been there, they should have hosted, and they probably could have won. And then we'd be talking this week about them playing in the Super Bowl. Anyway, don't want to go back to that. Don't want to get people mad. Let's get people excited. Uh, about Gabe Davis, because here's the other thing. He may be the absolute clear-cut number two next year. In fact, not maybe, he will be. But within that number two, and this is where I wanted to go with this, is that he might get an additional five to ten targets per game because of who comes back. I could see the Bills cutting Cole Beasley. Isaiah McKenzie, does he want to come back after getting benched by Sean McDermott? He told Tyler Dunn on the Go Long podcast that possibly, 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 uh, the, the, you know, he wants to come back to Buffalo if the price is right, if the situation is right. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's just, you know, in front of the fans to make people feel good, etc. I don't know. Uh, I want Isaiah McKenzie back because I think that offense is different when he's running all over the place, jet sweeps, he can play in the slot. But let's say, just for example, that McKenzie doesn't come back because the number's too high, Beasley gets cut. Davis is going to get a lot of those a lot of those targets from those guys. Obviously, they'll have to find somebody going over the slot. Maybe they go to a free agency and sign Barrios, who I wouldn't mind having. Um, you know, again, but his number is probably going to be high as well. He's commanding. I think the projected rate is between six and nine, so that would be a little bit too much as well. Unless they could do that and then restructure four or five other guys' as deal, uh, deals. But Gabe Davis, clear cut number two, super super great target in the red zone. He can extend the chains. He can extend the field. And he's just a guy who's, right now, he's just blooming uh, with potential for the Buffalo Bills. I can't wait to see what he brings in 2022. Mike Lindsley with you here. It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by our great friends at Stanley Law Offices, the Vince Aguirre Consulting Group, and Brewton Ace Hardware. I'm on Twitter. Hit me there, at Mike L Sports. Do me a favor as well, please. Like all these videos, and please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.